Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and as you can see from behind me rain is pouring down it's cold outside here and I have to use this little mic so I can be audible today I'll be making a very special video because I'll be featuring a very special plant which really amazes me in Nanai's garden and um, Nanai Norma has been into this gardening business for like four to five decades already she loves plants so much that if you move around her house you can see this wonderful plants which you cannot conclude that they all existed by chance they are unique and they are beautiful and they are all marvelous creations of God so today I will give you a very quick tour and then I will focus on the plant which I have said really really very interesting I know you will like it so come on and let's go This is it. This is Saracenia minor, or commonly called hooded pitcher plant. This is one of the many species of carnivorous plants. This pitcher plant is easily identified because of the overarching wood that hides the opening of the pitcher to prevent rain droplets to be collected. It possesses an areolus or white semi-translucent spot which is believed to aid in the entrapment of praise by increasing the amount of light entering the back of the hood which entice insects to enter and fall into the base where they are digested by the enzymes. They also have downward pointing hairs on the inside to prevent the escape of captured insects. They get nourishment from the nutrients of the digested insects. This plant grows best in moist soil. In Nana's case, she planted it in sphagnum moss taken from the bark of trees and dried green mosses scraped from the walls of concrete fences mixed in soil. The pot then is placed in another container where water is steady. This provides moist for the soil. They can be propagated by seed but will not flower for the first four to five years. But propagation is easy by rhizome division. They can grow up to 12 to 18 inches and 12 to 24 inches wide in wild and tend to grow in colonies. Actually, all the elongated leaves can turn into pictures. They are offshoots from the tip part of the leaves then they modify into pictures. When you see a wider opening, that means they are mature pitchers, and those with narrow ones are younger. When they reach maturity, they turn from greenish to reddish color. God is our amazing creator, and in every creation, he signs it with his awesomeness. 
So in your garden, think of Him and praise Him for who He is as our Creator. This is all, folks. I hope you like it.